refreshing things to drink while like you're under all these lights and it's like really hot or like ice cold carbonated beverages but then I'm like burping the whole time so my apologies for that <laughs> no my bad I'm sorry I'm just doing my eyeliner with Anastasia Beverly Hills jet gel liner one person asked um what's your best anecdote regarding Mexican culture and favorite Mexican horror legend slash story. I feel like every Mexican child gets threatened with El Cucuy. Like, he's just gonna get you if you do anything bad. Who is El Cucuy? Cucuy? I don't even know if that's like a real thing, but it's like... It's this thing that like Mexican parents always reference. They're like, you better like, clean your room or the Cucuy's gonna come get you. Escuchas eso? Es el Cucuy. Like that kind of like thing. Like boogeyman? Yeah, kind of, yeah, I guess so. Like the boogeyman. I'm going to take um, a brush and set my gel liner with black eyeshadow from the Norvina One palette. I grew up going to my dad's part of Mexico more, which is like very rural. The rural juror has a limited release next week. And like in the country and like they didn't really have like running water until I was like in high school like on his street where he grew up so that's how like rural of a the town it was I think I told you the story too with like the frogs that like came up through the toilet I hope it don't land on my face on my face I don't know I want to get warts like when they finally got running water my Dad and my uncle like paid for like a toilet to be built in my dad's house where he grew up because before that they only had like an outhouse. It was like very old timey. But they got this built and I remember one time we went and it was still like a very like new system and not like super high tech as far as those kind of things go. And like they would have the problem usually of like frogs climbing up the toilet like in the sewer system like climbing up out of the toilet and it was very scary it did not happen to me but it did happen to a few people while I was in Mexico I think I was always like super super scared that it would happen to me and it never did but I did have like several run-ins with scorpions a lot um, I was trapped in a bathroom with a scorpion once, that same toilet. It's, it wasn't even a bathroom, it was just like a toilet room, basically. I was trapped in that bathroom with a scorpion. I don't even remember how I like got away. I think I climbed up like the opposite side of the wall and I had like to run out immediately. But like I remember when I was like younger, my parents like found me sleeping in bed and like tried to wake me up so I pulled the sheets off of me and there was just like a scorpion there with me. <laughs> Like, didn't bite me, thank goodness, but, yeah. That's what I remember from Mexico. So I went ahead and just finished my eyeliner. I did a little bit of liquid liner to sharpen up the edges, and then added these little wisps. And then went in with my NYX white liquid liner, and did those inner corners. And then went back in with the liquid liner, and did the bottom line. What I've been doing lately that I've actually really enjoyed is going in and doing kind of like a pixie-like shape here like that so you can see it goes in a little bit more versus just keeping it rounded I really enjoyed this shape lately it looks very like pixie like to me so now I'm going to take the volume 4 Norvina in E2 which is like this really pretty like shimmery like opal glitter and dip my A14 brush into it and then kind of apply that around the brow area just like right under that just to give it a little shimmer. I'm also going to do some rhinestones right in that white liner. And then I think I'm going to sprinkle them around also to give a really like sparkly look. Okay, so I'm going to dust off. And it is pretty hot in here. And I can't have a fan on. 
it makes too much noise. But some of this is looking a little meh. Going in to fix it with a little bit of taco on that powder puff. And then I'm going to go over my nose again. Just because I can see my sweat coming through. So I'm going to let that highlight sit underneath my jawline for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and apply blush. So now I'm going to go into... I actually think I'm going to do E1, which is kind of like a corally neon pink. And this is the Anastasia A22 brush. I'm just going to pat it into the cheeks. Oh, this blush color is really nice. This eyeshadow E1 from Norvina 4. Oh, the blush is so pretty. Now I'm going to take my next white liner and I'm going to redefine that boop. So I'm taking the shades A1 and A2 from that palette and I'm using that to highlight a little bit. You think you totally know a person after knowing their sign? I feel like I have a general idea about somebody after I hear their sign. Somebody's street racing outside. I'm going to spritz my brush with Dewy Set. I feel like I have a general idea, but more importantly, I need to know somebody's rising and moon sign before I can accurately judge them. The cards can reveal things that you will never see by yourself. Because I feel like not a lot of people are very similar to their sun sign. It really depends on like their moon and their rising, which is why I think like a lot of people don't believe in astrology. Astrology. I don't even sound Australian anymore. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't believe in astrology because they don't really identify with their sun sign because they don't know like the other factors that go into determining somebody's personality or like the way that they handle things. But I would say yes and no to that one. It's a very hard hitting question. What's your favorite soup? Pho, obviously. Pho is the best soup. Pho is the best kind of soup. I can eat pho every day. No matter how hot it is outside, I will eat pho under any condition. It is the best soup and one of my favorite foods next to wings, probably number two actually. But it's really hard to find good pho in LA, so we have to go all the way to Alhambra. Is that where we went? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we have to go like... It's definitely in the um, SGV, San Gabriel Valley area. Yeah, we have to go to San Gabriel Valley to get good pho, because a lot of the places that we've been to here are like, not very good. What is your fave thing to order at Denny's? Oh my god. My favorite thing to order at Denny's is the Grand Slam Burger. The world famous Slam Burger, only available at Denny's. Which is a burger with an egg on it, which is already like amazing, and hash browns and bacon so it's like a grand slam like on a burger and I just like douse it with Tabasco sauce and it's the best thing ever and then you pair it with some fries and ranch and you have to put Tabasco in the ranch too to make it spicy ranch and that's delicious but I mastered it at home right oh yeah oh yeah I made it at home after a cash Monet reminded me that I'm banned from Denny's Next one I was going to focus on is from Cash Money, oh. and their assumption is, in all caps, no cool toned light bulbs. Oh, I think that was for something else. Oh, but it's But honest. it's true. I don't like cool toned lighting. I think it looks disgusting. Everything looks gross in it. I don't understand people that can live in a home that has cool toned lighting. It like genuinely like really makes me angry. A cool toned lit home? Is that a home? That's a dentist office. Sometimes I read your name as if it is rhymed with tamale. What? And then they said, I don't know if this is a typo, they said, my head cannon is that you make great tamales. I actually don't know how to make tamales. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I'm sure I can make them really well actually. I need to try to make them, but I haven't actually made tamales yet. I'm sorry. I did learn how to make media though, so if you want some Kessie tacos, I got you. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Violet from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
and I'm going to create my lip shape. I don't have a purple like lip liner, so I'm just going to use this as my lip liner and then go in with Girl Crush in the center. There's two questions or two assumptions about your personality that sort of dovetail. One said, my assumption is that you don't take <laughs> from anyone and can be outspoken if necessary, not timid or shy. And another person says, I assume that because you're a sweet person, people have unfortunately taken advantage. Um, however, you seem like the type to clap back when necessary. Mm, yeah. I think I have, like, I kind of went through all of that, too, when, like, telling my drag origin story. Um, how I used to be, like, super, super shy and timid, and then drag helped me get over that. But as far as, like, being taken advantage of, I feel like there's been a few instances, but at the time that I got to the point where I, like, could not take it anymore, where it was just like too much, I just like completely cut that person off um, or those people off. Like I, I have a limit and I will do a lot of things for a lot of people um, and I feel like as far as like a lot of friendships and collaborations and stuff have gone, it usually doesn't go both ways. I feel like a lot of the time it's like me giving more. Yeah, there just comes a time where I just like can't with people sometimes or with like s certain situations. So I just like literally just like stop putting myself in that situation, cut myself off from that person. I just like, I, that's like typical Scorpio behavior I feel like, but yeah, that's usually what happens. One person said, favorite wing sauce? As far as like sauces that you can get at wing establishments, I would have to say probably Atomic from Wingstop or... Wild from Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to add a little bit of sparkle to like right underneath the eye. So I'm going to do Trixie Cosmetics Lava Lamp Glitter. I'm going to apply a little bit of the ABH glitter adhesive first. So my favorite sauces are between Atomic from Wingstop and Wild from Buffalo Wild Wings. Now Wild from Buffalo Wild Wings is one step under their hottest one, which is Blazin. Blazin is very hot. Coming from somebody that eats really, really spicy food a lot of the time, it's still very difficult for me to eat like three of them in a row. The first time I got them, I was so hungry, I ate like five or six of them in a row. And then my mouth like caught on fire. This is coming from somebody that eats scorpion sauce like almost daily. Like, very, very hot. So the wild is definitely not as hot, but it's still fairly, it has some heat to it, but it's very good. The atomic is very tasty from Wingstop. That's their hottest, but it's not very hot. It's just really, really good. It's very chunky, so if you like actual like chilies, it's very good. If you could never drink any form of iced cafe again, what would you drink instead? <laughs> no more iced cafe? Yeah, I guess this is some kind of like doomsday scenario where iced cafe is like been totally extinct. Not on my watch! Or maybe you developed an iced cafe allergy. Oh my god, no. What does that mean though? Is there a loophole? Can I have an iced Americano? If I'm coming up with a loophole, I would have iced espresso beverages. But I feel like they mean probably like all coffee related beverages. So I'd probably say... Ugh, that's so hard, like nothing is as good. Maybe matcha? Based on like the fact that it has caffeine, matcha but like there are teas that are caffeinated but I don't really like tea I'm not really like a tea person I feel like matcha is like in between it's kind of a tea but it's like a powder I'm putting on my base lash these are just some random Amazon lashes I'll put the link in the description to these just one pair just to serve as my base for my larger lashes and for the first time in Drag Race history, I will not be wearing my sugar pill bottom lashes. What I actually do to get like chunky lashes 
is actually save all of the ends that I trim off of other lashes. So like anytime you get like a pair of lashes and you trim off like the ends, just like the regular size like day wear ones, or even like the drag ones I'll save too. Any like parts that I cut off the front or the end of it, I'll save them in like a little box so that I could do like PC bottom lashes later. Okay, so my top lashes are actually a Supreme Lash from Sugar Pill and a 301 XL Lash from Rocka Lash stacked on top of each other with the Supreme Lash on top. And I'm just going to place these the way that I normally do, going diagonally. I'm going to go over the band of those lashes. I like to pinch the tops of my lashes after I do this because sometimes I get a liner on them. This is just to get any like residual liner off. Now I can actually do the fun part, which I actually don't know how I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do is use this face paint palette that I got, which is kind of like a water activated light. Oh Jesus. Kind of like a water activated like liner palette and use that to create the white dots all over my face. I'm going to activate it with some dewy set. I'm not too worried about making them perfectly round. So I feel like mushroom dots aren't super round. So I tried that palette and I didn't like it. So I went back into my Norvina cake liners in the white and I'm dipping the end of that brush and then stamping that on my face. So I went in with the Norvina liners and I did the dots all over my face with the end of a brush. I just used like a regular brush that I had and just dotted all over my face essentially. What I'm going to do now is paint my neck and my chest just down to a V because that's where my shirt is going to be. Then I'm going to change, get into my wig, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. So I have to be honest with you guys, I had like the worst time trying to finish getting ready because the white dots never fully dried. So it was like all over my wig and all over my clothes. So I literally had to like wipe off some of it and then redo it. And then I found out the best way to do it was to take like a blending brush, something that's fluffy, and like push setting powder into it to try to get it to set as much as possible. In the future, I would probably do this with my NYX white liner instead of trying to do it with like a water activated liner just because it just was not setting at all. But in the end, I fixed it as much as I could, and I think I really like the look. I definitely look like that mushroom earring that I was trying to emulate. And I can answer some more assumptions and questions. Mm -hmm. So somebody asked me the time that it takes for me to get in drag. Um, I've gotten really quick at getting into drag um, just because I have been doing drag for so long, but also I've done it under a lot of strenuous conditions. Like I said in SF, I was working and doing drag, like that's it, and often both on the same day all the time, like almost every day. So I would get out of work at like 9 and have to be at the club at like maybe 10.30, 11. So I learned how to do my mug really, really quickly. And I think the fastest that I've ever gotten ready is like literally like 35 or 40 minutes this summer. Not this summer, past summer, I had a gig in Washington, D.C., and not only was it like 100% humidity on 100 degree weather, but I was literally like on delayed flights for like 15 hours. So I like really, I got to the gig like an hour before I had to be on stage. Like not to the gig to the hotel that the gig was at, to the hotel that I was staying at. So I literally got to the hotel, had to run up to my room, get ready in like 40 minutes, and then get out there and literally made it like basically in time for my performance, which was last. And it was like crazy. Shout out to Brie and Christina for helping me get ready because I DM'd them on Instagram and like asked them to come to my room and help me get dressed because I was like literally like rushing 
so fast. So thank you to them for helping me get ready in my room. Here's a question that I am still getting even though I answered it in the first one. Have I ever auditioned for Drag Race and would I? I have auditioned for Drag Race before I found out that I pretty much can never get on. Um, and would I if they changed the rules? Yes, because we would all like to be doing this full time and that's just not a reality for a lot of people that aren't on the show. Um, and also, I've been watching the show again because um, Mr. Krem is watching it all for the first time basically um, so he could understand all of the references that I make and all of the references that like my friends make. So just re-watching the show again and I'm just like man this show is like so good. Like. I just remember like when I watched it for the first time before any of us became like unraveled and like the realities of it that like just like the pure entertainment aspect is so good um, and so I would say yes but I mean we'll see I will say one time I got really frustrated with people asking me if I was ever gonna audition for Drag Race I remember somebody sent me money on Venmo um, because I kept getting asked if I was on Drag Race and it was frustrating and then a bunch of people started sending me money on Venmo um, telling me it was like for Drag Race or something and then by the end of like the day I had like so much money so thank you shout out to all of you who sent me money for not being on Drag Race I definitely bought wings with that money someone said I feel like you're the kind of person who would make a lot of meme references smiley face heart Yeah. I can attest to that. <laughs> I would say it's 80% meme references. <laughs> it's 80% meme references. <laughs> I think that was all of them. I think so. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys didn't assume a lot of bad things about me, so thanks for not being shady, though that would have been funny. Thank you so much for sending in all of your questions. I really appreciated it. I hope you guys like this look. Thank you so much for staying tuned, and I will see you in the next 